Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mischief Makers. Uh, last time we finished up World 1, and uh, yes, I still have to go back and get all the A ranks, but I'll do that after I finish this episode. And uh, now we're actually going to be starting on World 2, Majin Shrine, so let's start with Sea of Lava. The majority of these levels are going to be uh, lava based, so expect to find a lot of lava, a lot of fire, and a lot of burning obstacles, so just be very careful when you're going through this. Okay, so I don't really remember where the gold gem is off the top of my head. Okay, I have a feeling that that activated the thing back here. Indeed it did. Okay, so let's go in here first. Then we'll go over here. Okay, we have a lot of lava right here. Um, let's see, do you have the gold gem? No, you don't. Whenever you see a Clancer, make sure you shake him. If not for the gold gem, even for just health, you never know where the gold gem is going to be. Oh, actually, I think I remember where the gold gem is. It's actually in plain sight. But don't fall in the lava like I did, though. Uh, if you fall in the lava or an endless abyss, uh, you'll lose some health, but you will go back to the beginning of that section. Which can be kind of annoying, and that will actually count against the... Uh, time trial, so if you are going for an S rank, do not fall in the lava because you will probably not get the S rank. Okay, the gold gem is actually right here, which is kind of weird to get. Um, yeah, you can just grab it and then uh, just go in the lava. You won't lose it because, as you can see, the uh, screen right here says you got it. Very helpful. But it tells you that you got it. So yeah, you could just, you know, just jump in the lava and get that without worrying too much. Actually, I want to grab this to give me full health again. Okay, now we actually have to make it through the rest of this level, which can be kind of challenging. This part right here is pretty annoying, too. Ah! Dang it. Okay, there we go. That was the Sea of Lava. And next, I believe, is a, uh... Yeah, it's a vertical level. Vertigo. This level's pretty interesting, if I remember correctly. I don't know if this is the level I'm thinking of or not, though. Let's see, um... Can I grab these? Not really. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, basically, whenever you see a green clam ball in this level, you shake it. It will turn the level. You'll turn the level um, upside down and then back to normal. And then all of the uh, bomb blocks you destroyed will be uh, reformed. So that is essentially what we're gonna do in this level. A lot of back and forth stuff like that. Okay, you gotta throw this one pretty quickly. Okay, the gold diamond is coming up here in a second. It's kind of annoying to get, though, because, um, we'll, we'll find out in a second. Okay, right here, as you can see, there is the exit. But, uh, there's actually more to this level if you, uh, look at how these, uh, blocks right here kind of form a stair. So, you have to be very, very quick about this. Yeah, go up here quickly go over here then climb the stair and oh no 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 dang it okay well you have to get on that elevator obviously so uh, let's reset the blocks oh no 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 okay there uh, one thing I do like about this is how you can use uh, Marina's uh, jetpack to kinda Hold yourself in the air so you can, like, kind of decide your next move, which is very, very helpful. You have to be kind of careful, though, because it's not completely effective. But it does work. Okay, go over here, go over here. Okay. 
Oh, come on! Ah. That's kind of one of the things about this, ga this game. The uh, controls are kind of weird in some places. Situations like that, for instance, can be kind of annoying. But for the most part, they're, like, not terrible or anything. Okay, there we go, finally. And that'll take us up here where the gold gem is, and now we can just fall back down here. Grab the star and end the level. Okay, next we have... Sink or Float. I like these little enemies right here. They kind of have, like, little chef hats on. Which is kind of funny. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna shake you guys. Just to make sure you don't have anything. Uh, these guys are throwing ninja stars at you. Uh, you can actually grab the ninja stars if you uh, catch them in midair. And then you can use them as your own projectiles, but... It's kind of tricky and probably something you don't want to worry about in a section like this anyway. Okay, let me let me kill you. Or no, I killed both of you. And I have a feeling that the gold gem doesn't require these guys anyway, so I might be doing this for nothing. Okay, yeah, I don't think these guys have them. Knowing my luck, though, I probably killed the one I was having to shake, or needing to shake, but we'll find out. Okay, so over here, grab this guy. Oh no, it's over here, okay. You have to do a lot of uh, jet booster action right here. Not like that. Okay, I actually got this pretty easily on my practice spot. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to leave... Ah! I didn't mean to leave the level. Okay, well, uh, hold on, guys. Let me get back to that point. Okay, here I am back at this point. Um, this is kind of weird. It's a very weird jump that you think you'd be able to make, but... You have to have just the right amount of timing for it. And you can almost manipulate that platform. Ah, okay, this is probably going to take me a while. Come on. Stop doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Okay. I get your point. I'm jumping too late. Ah. <sighs> Come on. Ah. Jeez, why is this so annoying? And I know you can get it this way, because I did this, not just the other day. <sighs> Come on, why am I not making it? I'm, like, just barely missing out on it. And now my fingers are hurting because I'm pressing on the control pad so hard. Ah, come on! Dang it! Okay. Okay, let me relax here for a second. Ah! Oh, come on! I had that! Come on! There's, like, barely any space right there. Uh. 
Uh, come on, this is taking forever. This is taking forever. I'm like barely missing that ledge. Oh, come on! My foot's like touching the edge. I don't know why that this is so exact. Because there's a second jump, and the second jump is supposed to be worse. Oh, pff, well, there I go. I think if I die again, I'm out of health, and I have to start over. Okay, I made it that time. That makes sense. But then, of course, I don't make that jump, so... It's ah, oh, there I go. Okay. Well, that's a game over. And uh, once you get a game over, you can actually uh, choose to spend your red gems on whether to get a normal continue, a life up continue, or a max power continue. So I'm gonna get a max power continue. I don't think you need the uh, red gems for anything that important. So. It's no major concern if you lose all of them. Uh, but yeah, hold on a second, guys. Let me go back to that stupid jump that I can't make for some reason. Okay, here we are, back at this lovely endeavor of mine. Okay, come on. I made it once. In this recording session, anyway. You guys saw me make it. Like, I don't know what, like... I don't know what buttons to press, because I'm using the directional pad instead of the C buttons, because you need a good running jump to actually do this correctly. Uh, let me try this. Okay, now that's even worse. So yeah, I definitely need a running jump. Now, I wonder if I have to, like keep using the directional buttons for this, because that's like... Okay, I don't know. I don't know why this isn't working that well. Because I remember when I actually made it, there was actually some air in between me, so I don't know if I'm just pressing this too late or not early enough or what. It's like a very, very accurate jump. And I don't know what happened right there. I just didn't get enough air, I guess. Ugh, come on! Come on! Why is this so sucky? Okay, I make it. I'm making it this time. Okay, there. I don't even know what I did that time. Oh, come on! Yes. Okay. Finally, I don't even know what I did right there, but I somehow made it. Okay, there we go. Finally, I wasted way too much time on that. Okay, so next we have Hot Rush, and unfortunately, I think the... I think the gold diamond to get here is even worse. Or the gold gem, whatever it's called. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so for this level, you need to be fast, because... Uh, the blocks are blowing up, and they're gonna keep blowing up behind you, so you have to be really, really quick. Now, what's really hard about this is the gold gem, because you have to do this exactly right. And unfortunately, I'm not going to do it, because you have to go all the way over here, grab this, and then make it back on the platform. So yeah, um, that's why you have to be so fast on this one. Thankfully, the rest of the level after that isn't too bad. But still, you have to make sure that you do this the right way if you want the gold gem. Okay, no, dang it, shake down. Uh, you have to shake down, you can't shake to the side. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. My fingers really hurt from doing that last level. Okay, I should be good, this... Dang it, no, 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 no. 
Dang it. I messed up on an easy part. A part I shouldn't have messed up on, honestly. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this now, because I haven't been fast enough. Uh, this guy that's coming up here, this guy's very annoying. He can easily screw you up. Ah, come on. When I first played this level, I thought the gold gem was in one of the clancers. They have to, like, quickly shake before they die, but... Not really. The gold gem is a little more... Interactive than that. Okay. I should be okay now, though. I mean, I still have to... Make some weird jumps coming up here, but... For the most part, I should be okay. Okay, grab this. Now right here, before you grab the star, grab this. Grab the gold gem and then finish the level. Make sure you grab that. I had an attempt where I actually got to this point, but forgot I had to shake that one thing, so I died. But there we go, that was Hot Rush. I actually did that a lot faster than I thought I would, so thank god. Okay, now we have Siren's Swing, and this might actually be the last level I do. Or actually, no, I'll do another level after this one. Work, work, work. I need a short break. You think it's meaningless, but it's really refreshing. Be careful. If you hold still, you're going to sink. Ah, it's so relaxing to not have to think about a thing. This feels great. What? You want to help across? Grab on and swing with us. But remember, we can't hold you long. Okay, so... We can swing on these guys! Hooray! This level is pretty interesting. It's also not very long either, so that's why I'm probably going to do another level after this. Okay, obviously the gold gem is going to be over this way. Here it is, grab this, and then just jump in the lava. That way you can go all the way back here, and finish the level. Okay, so the last level I'm going to do before I finish this off is... Oh wait, dang it. Uh, this is a mini boss fight, but I wasn't expecting this to be the next level, but I'll go ahead and do it. This boss, or this mini boss, can actually be kind of annoying. Basically what you have to do is you have to grab its head and then throw it against the ground. But to get the gold gem you have to do a few different things. Um, I believe you have to shake the bee's head for a while and eventually um, it'll drop the uh, gold gem. Like, okay, yeah, there it is. Oh wait, shoot, it disappeared. Okay, well, let me try that again. I don't think it'll reappear if you... Uh, miss it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Ah, stupid bees. And yeah, watch out for its stinger, because its stinger will do a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got the gold gem. Now I can actually beat this guy. Or girl. I don't know what the gender of this bee is. I'm guessing it's probably a, a girl, just from looking at it. The yeah, all you have to do is grab its head, and throw it against the ground, and that's pretty much how you beat this guy, or girl. I don't know! It's hard to say. Hard to determine, I don't know. Okay, and then there's this attack, which can be kind of annoying. That attack is also pretty lethal if you're not prepared for it. But there we go. Flambi has been destroyed. And I'm actually going to end the episode right there. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Mischief Makers. I will see you guys later, folks.